Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I have a question for you. Are you getting frustrated because you're not getting leads from your YouTube channel? Well, pay close attention because in this video I'm going to share with you some simple strategies of how to optimize your video descriptions so that you're getting leads for your business from your YouTube channel within the next 24 hours. Before we get into the training, I have two reminders for you. First, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button you see in the lower right hand corner of your screen. I create content on almost a daily basis and I don't want you to miss a thing. Secondly, what I want you to do is stick with me until the end of this video because you're going to get an opportunity of how to learn from one of the top YouTube marketing experts on how to optimize your entire YouTube channel so that you can get an additional 8 to 10 or more leads per day coming to you from your YouTube videos. So you want to stick around. This training is absolutely for free. So let's get right into it with the training today. What we need to understand is whenever you're doing a video, you want to have a call to action telling people to get on your email list. So you need to make sure that you have links set up to your lead capture pages so that you can follow up with these leads that are coming to your YouTube channel. Now, as always, these links are like real estate. It's all about location, 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 and you need to put them in strategic areas to really uh, make sure that people see them. So I'm going to share with you a real simple strategy of how to optimize this area of your YouTube videos, because many people do not use this the correct way. And I learned this strategy from two of the top YouTube marketing experts out there, Mark Harbert and Nathan Lucas. And since I've started using this, I have seen my views go up and I'm averaging right now five to six additional leads for my business per day from my YouTube videos just because I made these tweaks to the description area. So let me show you what you need to be doing. So in the description area, this is the entire description area, okay? So what you need to do is the first thing you need is to have your lead capture page up at the top. So whatever that is, and you want to make sure that, again, it is a message to market match. So what, because my YouTube channel targets home business owners, I have my number one recommendation to make a full income, full-time income online. Now, it's really important that you're using like a link cloak service like Pretty Link if you have a blog or use Click Magic and have a branded link. You don't want to be using a long, um, a long link like if you have an affiliate link that leads to a lead capture page that can be really long and ugly and people will not people will see oh you're kind of trying to get me into a biz op so what you want to do is have this branded to you because you want people to start recognizing and going to your site plus it's more professional looking okay um, if you need additional help with finding some link generators, I have another video that walks you through how to do that. So after you have that, that needs to be the first thing up here. Then you want to have just a little description, and it's really important <clears throat> excuse me, that in this, that you have your keyword, okay, the keyword that you have in your title, is also interspersed throughout your description as well because YouTube is looking for those keywords. So you want to give a teaser right here, okay? Now what I also have is another link to some free training. Again, you want to be providing links that are of high value. So what I've done is to get leads on you in YouTube in the next 24 hours, go here and I have a training that can send them there how they can get more information on how to get leads for their YouTube channel. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, this is always going to change right here, okay? It's going to be based on my video. I'm not always going to have this video if I have something here um, if I'm doing like a video like on autoresponders, I'm not going to have a YouTube training here 
with an autoresponder. That's not an example of a good message to market match. Then I always want to make sure that I have a reminder for them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, you always want to make sure with your traffic that they keep coming back and you want to make sure that they are, you know, that they're, you tell them what to do to get them to come back and, and, and subscribe to your channel because when they do, they're going to get a notification up here from YouTube whenever you've created a new video. So if you're providing high value, people will come back and check out your videos. Then what I, you do again is you want to provide a little bit more of an in-depth training, okay, um, of a description of what the video is about. Kind of give them a teaser or a preview of coming attractions. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, sometimes I've used timestamps if I'm doing um, a list in my video. So if I'm giving like my top five tips for getting leads online, what I will do is I will put a timestamp with the time and then where that tip is. So like at minute three, you will hear, you know, tip number one is this. And then you do that that way. And uh, YouTube loves it when you do timestamps like that as well. It also gives you um, a chance to get hot, your video ranked higher in the search engines. So that's one way that you can optimize this description. And again, I'm going to put another chance to get on a lead capture to get them on my list by offering this free training. Then I'm going to have, I want them to, you know, I want to invite them to leave a comment in the comments section. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments. Share the video. So what I want to do is make sure, you know, when you upload your YouTube channel, you'll see the link right away. And you want to make sure that this is the link to the video, all right, that's up here at the top. You want, pe you want people to, you know, who watch this video to share. So you want to have that as a call to action. Again, you want to have another option, you know, um, to have them subscribe because when you put this information in and you're scrolling down, people are not always going to come back up and scroll up in the description. So that's why we want to repeat these links over and over because um, you never know where they're going to, what part when they're reading in the description that they're going to tap or click on that link. So again, we come down here and then I'll put my name and I'll thank them for watching. And then I have again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. What Nate Lucas did, and I thought this was really smart because um, YouTube does look at your ranking for your uh, playlists. Okay, your playlists can also rank on YouTube. So what you do is you want to make sure that you have created playlists on your channel. If you don't know how to do that, Stick with me until the end of this video because in the free training that I'm going to offer you later shows you how to do that. So what you do is you make sure you, you create your um, playlist and then you can go to a Google URL shortener which is right over here and all you have to do is just um, type in Google URL shortener, log into your Google account, then put in the links to your YouTube playlist, okay, and then it's going to give you the shorten URL and you want to use the Google URL feature because you know YouTube is part of Google and Google loves it when you use their tools. So you want to have that in there. And so you can see we have all these different, uh, I have these all for my different uh, playlists. Then I have another section for online marketing resources. So this is a place where if you really want to monetize your YouTube channel, you can put down again, um, like for my making money online, I have one for lead generation, um, some more training that people can uh, get. Again, it is a message to market match. And then I have right over here is I have all the way down, I have connect with me online. You always want to make sure that people know that you have a presence outside of this social media channel because as part of your branding, people are going to check you out. And if you have um, a Facebook page, your pro Facebook profile, your Twitter, Instagram, wherever you're most active on social media, make sure that you have those uh, call to actions with the Connect Me Online. And I have here also, if you have a website, make sure you have that as well. What I also have, this is where you can really make money, is if you have a blog and you have a page that is of your recommended products and services, 
you can put that here as well. Now it's also important that down at the bottom you have a disclaimer and this disclaimer is very very important because you want to be transparent as possible. So basically what you want to say is this video and description may contain affiliate links which means that if you click on one of the product links I'll receive a small commission. This helps support the channel and allows us to continue to make videos like this. Thank you for your support. Okay, so you want to be open and upfront, and a lot of people do appreciate that. So now you're probably thinking, but gosh, do I have to type up all of this, you know, when I have to do my videos? I've got you covered here. I'm going to share with you a real simple ninja tip. So what I would suggest you do is take some time and really work on optimizing, getting all this information put together. And the way that you can do that is use Evernote, okay? Use Evernote and get that done there. And that's what, um, as you can see here, I have, um, I put here, you know, putting, the, and when I, when I put this together, I put this here, okay? So it kind of reminds me, all right? And then what I do is I'm going to copy all this, all right? I'm going to save it to Evernote. I'm going to copy all of this information that I have here. Then I'm going to come over to YouTube and you want to get into the Creator Studio. You're going to come down to, all right, up, I'm going to come over here. So you're going to come over to Creator Studio. You're going to come to Channel and then you're going to come to Upload Defaults. Now with this Upload Defaults, what this does is all of that description, you put that in here right now that's all there because once you have it there okay every time you upload a youtube video this is all going to show up and then all you need to do then is just add all right and this is where it's super cool that all you're going to need to do now is when you when you're uploading your video um you just need to fill in your descriptions here and then you need to fill in your descriptions here and the share your video and that's it how exciting is that okay so let me give you a couple additional tips that will help you when you're uploading your youtube videos so that you're making sure you are getting maximum um you're, you're really getting the maximum benefit and you're going to be optimizing your channel so when you go to your upload defaults you want to make sure that the privacy setting is set to private you never want it public when you're uploading your YouTube uh, video, okay? And you just need to make sure that before you publish it, you set it to public. Category should always be education. The license, standard YouTube license. Keep the title blank because that is always going to be changing when you upload your YouTube videos. Then you want to make sure for tags, you're putting the tags into your YouTube channel. So as you can see here, um, when you put your tags in, make sure they're enclosed with quotes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you see I have my different terms, you know, for my name. So basically this is going to be your name, okay, and your website. So as you can see here, I have my different ways I have my name set up. So those are always going to show up then as part of the uploaded tags. You always want to make sure you put your name here in the tags because we're branding you, and as you get more people viewing your viewing your channel, your name is going to start showing up in the search terms, and so that's really cool. Comments and ratings, you want to make sure that that is ticked to all comments. You want to make sure that your video can, can monetize with ads. Ad formats, skippable video ads, you just want to be able to have that as well. Um, you also want to make sure that you have for video statistics, make sure video statistics on the watch page are publicly vis visible. And you never want to show, <clears throat> never show edit uh, suggestions. You also want to keep that this content has never aired before in the United States. And you want to make sure that this is not checked. Allow viewers to contribute translated titles, descriptions, and subtitles. You want to make sure that is disabled. You only want that. And you're, make sure your, your video language is in English or whatever your, your language is. But for most of you, it's going to be English. So there you have it. Now when you're all done, you click Save. And now whenever you upload a YouTube video, 
all of this is here and then you just have to make just a couple of your um, you just add in your headline your descriptions with your keywords and then the share this video um, from uh, once your video is created put that right there click publish and you're all good to go so this is the ultimate time saver tip with uploading your YouTube video descriptions did you find this video helpful today if you did, I want you to leave a comment and share. And as promised, here is the video training from top video marketing expert, Mark Harbert. Mark Harbert created a 90 minute video training where he walks you through on how to set up your YouTube channel, how to do keyword research, what YouTube keyword research tools to use. And there are free tools that he uses that helps him get you know up to 15 or more leads in your next in the next 24 hours with your YouTube channel okay so you're gonna get the keyword tools he's also gonna show you how to structure your videos so that more people opt in and if you are really um, uh, lost and don't know what type of content to create he's also gonna give you a PDF, a video PDF is right below the video training with 101 video creation ideas of high quality content videos you can offer to your audience that will help you get leads for your business. To get access to this training, all you need to do is go to www.drlisamthompson.com forward slash 101 ideas or click on the link you see in the video description. You'll come to a page just like this click on the download button and then put in your best email address and I will send that training over to you right away. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.